sign for Manchester United, make Manchester United debut, mm -hmm. score on Manchester United <laughs> debut, score again on Manchester United <laughs> debut, have an all-round amazing start to your life at a new club mm -hmm. and get called up by England. Obviously, like when you come to a new club, you just think, oh, let's get off to a good start. Let's try and get into the team and see where things go. And I think it's just escalated massively. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's been great and I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I think when people think about having a great start, especially if they're a defender, they're not really thinking about backheeling one into the net. Yeah, not at <laughs> all, <laughs> nah. Not at all. I never thought I'd ever score like two in a game, let alone for United on, on my debut. But yeah, it was, it was a dream debut, to be honest. When you get the call to say, Manchester United want to sign you? I was in my car and my agent called me um, and they were just like, oh, Man United are interested in you. I think I just started laughing. I was like, no chance. No, they're not. I was like, I don't believe you at all. Growing up in Guernsey, was it hard to gauge how good you were? Did you um, know other girls who were good footballers? No, nah, I didn't know anyone. My dad was my coach as well, so he didn't tell me if I was good. Hmm. So I would just like... Dads don't, do they? Nah. <laughs> it's really a good thing. Yeah. If I had a bad game, you'd get in the car and I was like, turn the music right up. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was probably 11-ish, um, I went away with the Guernsey under 11s, the boys of course. Went and played Southampton. One of the coaches from Southampton was like, like you need to come over here and try and get into like a, into the girls team or whatever. So that was like the first time I, I, can, I can remember and someone was like, oh, you're actually quite good. And then we were looking for clubs over in England, but still no one knew who I was really. I was playing for the England youth teams, but who's going to look at an, an under-15 back then? Probably now they are, they're probably scouting. Um, so then I was just, we were just getting hold of clubs and things, came over to try and see, and then found Brighton. And yeah, that was the place to be. And I really enjoyed my time there. So was Brighton almost a bit out of the blue? Was it a little bit like no one knew you and then you were playing WSL? Yeah, <laughs> really? basically, right, yeah. yeah. So I went over and then I had to stay in the host family because I don't have any family over here. Just like cycle my bike to training. Got into training, played with the 21s for the first maybe half a season. And then um, got well, started training with the first team. Um, and then from there, Hope just like really put her trust in me in the first team, which I really appreciate. And you know, to have someone like Hope kind of develop you from, from such a young age, from 16 to 20. It, it was just such an important stage in my career and she was the one who kind of gave me, gave me my first chance in the WSL, which f for, like, for a 16-year-old and for a manager in the WSL to do is probably quite a, a big thing and I don't know how many other managers would have done that. The call from England, how did that yeah, happen? Crazy. Um, it was Tuesday and I was in the gym. Um, we were doing screen and then Mark comes in. So Mark what are you thinking, bad news, good news, oh, something's bad up? News. <laughs> bad news, I was gone, I was thinking. Mark's never usually in, and he's like, and he's pointed at me and said, "Come on, can you can you come outside?" I thought, God, but better put my trainers on. I don't know what's happening here. And then, uh, yeah, went outside, and Mark was just like, um, "Serena wants to call you up for the seniors." And I was like, I don't even know what I said. I think I was like, "What? Like, are you sure?" And then he said, "Yeah, she wants to speak to you." So um, Serena calls me, and then just kind of says congratulations and things. But yeah, I don't think I stopped smiling since too far. <laughs>